yeast bay's out there somewhere. It's at 11 a.m., folks. It's 11 a.m. It is red, weird fog. It's like night. Car lights, headlights are all on. It is 11 in the morning in San Francisco. I can't smell any ash at all. There's no smell from it. And it feels cool outside like it's a foggy day. But there's something in the fog and it's preventing any light from the sun from coming into the city. So I'm gonna walk down a little into uh, North Beach or Chinatown and see what more we can see. This is bizarre. It's like walking in an eclipse that's just lasting for hours. What a trip. I've never seen SF like this. And the sun has not even cut, come through. There are not very many people out. People who are out are standing in the middle of the street and taking pictures, as you can imagine, because it's the weirdest effect in the world right now. Ah, lights have gone to flashing here. I'm gonna walk into Chinatown. That. It's a bridge. The sun just can't get through. I mean, it's as if it's nighttime as I'm walking down Powell here toward. You could see Alcatraz if there weren't for this crazy whatever this is. And, uh,. I don't know what it is, but it would be out there, Alcatraz. I mean, this is at 11 in the morning. It's 11 a.m. And it's as dark outside as night. Seven? No. I don't know what I'm saying. It's 11 a.m. Dark.
Kalau punya Pak Kolor itu cintanya Wow, that is just crazy. Look at that. It is totally dark. At 11 o'clock. That is wild, man. That is so crazy. So it's just like above us. That's what we th are starting to theorize here. It's like. MTK in Chinatown on the weirdest day in San Francisco history as far as everybody I talk to is concerned. The sky is unlike anything. You can't smell the ash, and yet it feels like it's a foggy day. So there's this very strange effect. Uh, from what I hear, in the East Bay, we have ash falling on people. So I think what's going on here is the, uh, the stuff is blowing over us in San Francisco, is, my, is what I theorize. And uh, we are experiencing blockage of light as a result of what is in the fog. So the fog is going across the top, and what's in the fog is being carried over San Francisco and deposited into the East Bay. Security officer over there just pointed out, if you look at the headlights, he said, you can see ash in the headlights. So I'm going to look for that now. I think those are the pair to Telegraph Hill. They were parrots anyway. Weirded out by the sky. What a bizarre day. So there was a Chinese man there, and I just pointed out to him that it was 11 o'clock. And he said, 11 o'clock, yeah. It's heavy, maybe later, and he put his hands. So he's saying that later in the day, the ash will fall down upon us. And that's possible. But right now, it's pretty bizarre. That is just, it has utterly eclipsed the sun. We are acting like it's night. Here at the cusp of Chinatown in North Beach, because it's dark.
after our stroll through Chinatown and approaching North Beach, it's starting to break up a little as you look toward the east. But still, we're operating like it's night around here. Pardon? I said I'm already getting ash in my eyeballs. Yeah, I believe it. Have you been out since morning? So we made it over to North Beach and uh, the skies are still quite dark and many lights are still on. It still feels like an eclipse basically. And I've come over to Cafe Trieste to get a coffee and I'm going to edit this footage here as well. I'm sorry? Yes, but you'll have to hike. Good. It's a nice walk. Thank you. Enjoy. You too. Be careful. So that's going to be the noon bell. Noon. This is nuts. Uh, it's just a truck. Parklets. Is that the bells for noon or midnight? That's the question. <laughs> Nuts. It is dark and darker here even than over by the other spot. North Beach is straight like nighttime over here. This could be night. This is noon in North Beach, if you can believe it. On the day the sky went red and it looked like Mars. Most surreal day in SF history continues. As now it's past noon, and in North Beach, it's still dark, like it's night or evening. It's at 12.15, folks.
craziness. Later in the day, and the redness has gone, and now it looks more normal, like normal fog in San Francisco, basically. But still, we have had no real sunshine today at all. It was red like Mars and like it's friggin' gray now. Fog basically. Ever a day to do a J in the park? It's today. <coughs> Excuse me. So now it's clearer, but I can definitely smell ash now. So the red is gone from the sky, right? But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's more normal now. Like it looks like fog now. But I can definitely smell the ash more now, which I couldn't smell in the morning. So, uh... That's what's up. A bit of an orange tinge out there, but it's totally different now. The sun would be going down, the sun's going down like there behind that basically now. So this would be kind of this color, but it's less red than it was in the morning. But definitely the smell is up now. Like, I can smell it now. Considerably more. You can see the flag atop the hotel there. A little different from the morning time. Still, over here, as we face to the... Uh, it's like west, northwest. It's a little bit orange. Okay, so now I can definitely smell it and there's a smoky thing in the air and we're back on Powell Street heading up the block. It definitely feels like there's smoke in the air now. I haven't hung out up here in a long time. The sky's definitely not as red. The sun still hasn't cut through. You can see. Headed back up the hill on Powell.
So shame. This is me climbing Powell, heading back. Smell stronger now for sure. But uh, the sky is no longer red. So I think the stuff is starting to drop. Now would be the time to look. I would say at a variety of things, including the headlight suggestion we had earlier. I think that could be interesting. This is where we were coming down earlier. We have footage of this from today. Today, earlier, this is that view you saw in the morning, covered in red. So this is back up Powell. That's where we're staying. I'm on the 14th floor facing that way now. So the pictures you're seeing are from there. And uh, I'm gonna walk up the hill, go back up, edit this footage, which was the craziest day I've ever spent in San Francisco, that's for sure. I'm MTK, also known as Karthik Raja. I told myself I'd walk, and I walked. So, it's a goal achieved. Look how different now from this morning up here at the hotel. So different. Woohoo! Goal achieved. Ah, that was good. Back in the room now. This is three in the afternoon, 3.15. And you can see that that whole day red that was in this is now gone and it looks much like the normal fog but today the sun never shone on San Francisco <laughs>